Hi, this is Deb with Everything Alpaca. Going to do another video blog for another one of our local ranches. This is Linden Hills Alpacas. Uh, they were in Larkspur. They had to move this spring because of uh, her husband's job to Ohio. So we have unfortunately lost Megan from the store. She has beautiful alpacas, super, super fine fiber. And she always does such a nice job presenting her product. So what I'm showing here first are rovings and these first three are all that I have left of her hand dyed roving. And this is grade, this is a higher grade, so it's coarser, so it's good for needle felting, wet felting, craft projects. Um, they sell $5. I think it's one ounce, yes, one ounce. And this is all I have left. And in case you missed my blogs from before, great. There's six grades of alpacas. One to two is fine alpaca that's good for next to the skin. Three to four is a little bit coarser and it's good for like cardigans and jackets, things that aren't next to the skin, but still clothing tight. And five to six are, is the coarsest fiber. And we use that a lot for dryer balls, felted soaps, home decor, and for needle felting. So these are just some of the uh, other rovings that she has. This roving is finer, much finer. It's like one to two, so it's good for spinning. She has, a lot of these have silk and angelina, and they have a variegated look to them. So if you're a spinner, these are like to die for. This is, it looks like a solid brown, but it does have some shiny angelina in it. And, I think she's got silk in this one too. Um, there's a light fawn up there. This one is a swirl of a almost like a bay black and white, or brown and white, dark brown and white. This pink one, you can see there's a little variegation in it. I have two of these left. And then there's the natural white. This is just 100% alpaca, I believe. Good baby alpaca. So this is going to spin up wonderfully and then you can always hand dye it if you like but it it'll spin up it's just a natural there's no sparkle or anything else in it so if any of those catch your fancy you can give us a call and let us know uh, which color you are interested in now i'm going to get into her yarn we don't have a ton of it left but these two i have the most of um, the hand on this is exquisite so this is like grade one or two it's beautiful um, these sell for $20 a skein. Let me get the tag around here. So these sell for $20 a skein. It's 80% alpaca, 20% merino, um, 200 yards of a sport weight. Both of these are. This one, I don't know if you can see, there's a gold, like a lurex, gold lurex, little bit, kind of a, that's actually coppery, that is spun in with the yarn. Gives it just a little bit of, um, shine to it but not overbearingly so it's just hard to see in the video and then this one is has other flecks of color in it this is absolutely stunning stuff beautiful so those are two of her yarns that we have and you can see that we have still several skeins of that available then i have a basket let me pick this up and bring it over to a table or set it right here so this is a basket of some of Megan's hand dyed yarn. Don't have a lot of it yet left, but um, they range in price. This is um, a DK weight, 8020 Merino or Alpaco Merino for 24. And it has a little bit of a darker fleck in it, a darker purple. So there's three skeins of that left. This is a really pretty uh, rose color. There's one looks darker than the other. So um, these are 20, that one's 25, this one's 25, and it's 200 yards. This is royal grade alpaca. That's why it's a little bit 
uh, more expensive. Because I told you grades one through six, one to two is baby alpaca. Royal grade is below 20 micron. This stuff is like even, it's like super soft. It's like cashmere, it's just yummy. So these ones that are royal grade are gonna cost a little more because they're such soft, fine um, alpaca fiber. And one skein of this pretty blue and green mix for $20, it's 150 yards. Um, also in a, let's see, does it say what the weight is? It says bulky weight, but I don't know that I'd call that bulky. Maybe worsted weight. This one, $20, this has a little bamboo in it, 150 yards. Again, it's calling it bulky. I would call it more of a, because you know, this is gonna thin down to maybe a, a worsted weight. You might get away with a Aaron weight on that. Um, I have one skein of this left, $25. Again, it's a royal grade, 200 yards. This beautiful raspberry color. Reminds me of Raspberry Parade, uh, Beret from Prince. So this has a little Merino and Tencel in it. 65 alpaca, 20 Merino, 15 Tencel for um, $20. And it is, where's the yardage on this? She's got it labeled a bulky again. I, it's the same as the others. I, it's a little lighter than what I would call bulky. I don't see the yardage. Let me look a little closer here. Oh, 150. I missed it. So it's 150 yards. And then um, this solid pink is 25. It has silk and alpaca. It's a fingering weight yarn. 200 yards, two ply. And a very pretty pink. And then these are pink and white variegated. Both of these are gonna be the same. They're $20, 80, 20 alpaca merino for 150 yards. She has it listed as a bulky weight. Same thing, I call it worsted to maybe maybe you can get away with an Aaron on it. Um, you know, we lay, she labels it whatever the mill tells her, but these look a little light to me, so I wouldn't count on it being a bulky. Although you could probably still do it with a bigger needle and just have a little bit more open stitch on it. But um, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. So anyway, that's what I have from Linden Hills. If you're interested in any of this, um, it's best to call us or shoot us an email because we don't have these listed on the website. So um, you can call us at 303-660-6684 or shoot us an email at everythingalpacaco at gmail.com. Thank you all. Bye-bye.